Before we start, here is a SuperTech 84mm piston we love using. Part number will be in the description below. We will also show you the current off-the-box ba off balance of these aftermarket pistons, so stick around. And now to my favorite. Shout out to BC Izirioha, owner and the man behind Bisimoto Engineering, for designing these for me due to the countless high RPM engine talks we've had. And we'll talk about this later. So you'll see. Here we are showcasing a set of PM3 pistons that is stock from a D15B7. They are flat tops and we've heard that some people use it on a D16 to gain more compression, but you gotta be aware. It sticks out above deck, so just make sure your clearances are good, it's gonna be safe. But if it's not, you might bend a valve or two. We've actually set this in a balance a long time ago, so it's ready to roll. But, you know, we're just keeping it on the shelf for just in case. Here we have some JDM ITR pistons, Integra Type R, P7300 or P7300, whichever you want. We will show you how consistent and ho how closely balanced they are from the factory. These are untouched. Okay, now we're off to balance a set of PHK pistons from the B20Z2, the higher compression version. We're gonna check the balance without the pins first. And we'll see 
which one is the heaviest and the lightest and then we would individually balance the pins and select the lightest pin going to the heaviest piston this way it minimizes the grinding or the material need needing to be removed from the pistons just to equalize the weight and we gotta write it all down before material removing removal starts then we match the pins to the pistons accordingly then off to the grinder sorry my bad after matching the pin to its pistons we gotta write down each weight before even grinding Once we've written down the fourth and last piston to get all the weight on record, you know, well, we'll need a little bit of alcohol on our hands first. Then we're off to the grinder. And we also like to write down the weight of the pistons on the piston tops. This way it's easy for us to visualize and see it. And here we show you where we usually remove material from without ruining the piston's integrity or strength. You can round this off, this area, because you just need to remove a little bit of a gram or a 0.2 or 0.3 of a gram. So it's just a little bit. Just don't remove underneath the piston pin because it might just lessen the strength. And here you'll see the difference between the lightest and the heaviest PHK piston. It's 405.22 and 406.6. That's a big difference. After spending some time with the grinder, here we are. You can see the areas we touched up to decrease weight in order to equalize with the other lighter pistons. It just doesn't take a lot to overdo these things. So be careful. After the grinder, here we are weighing the pistons again. Piston number two remains untouched because it's the lightest. So here's number one.
here we are weighing the SuperTech 84mm pistons just to show you guys how the weights are right out of the box. We are weighing it without the piston pins so it might be lighter than expected but of course ideally we would weigh the piston pins individually and designate them to the appropriate pistons. As you can see, it still can be perfect, just balance it a little bit more. Okay, before we conclude, here is the custom Bisimoto engineering pistons we have designed by BC himself. It was for an ultra high RPM B16 project that I had or at least planned to, which I still want to do by the way. It has all the tricks that you can imagine. From oil grooves to the flat dome for the spark plug to, in, to improve flame travel, you know, and the shorter skirts for less friction. Maybe one day or maybe soon, we don't know. Let's hope. And I hope this video gave a lot of insight for those aspiring builders, so thank you. We'll have more for you guys soon.